We now have wide receiver, Jaden Bray. Questions for Jaden Bray? Jaden, so give me an evaluation of your play, you know, and your learning process through the first three games, obviously here in the spring too, but uh, how, how are you developing? Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I feel like each week I've gotten better um, in all phases. Um, just from, from week one to week three, I just feel like I'm growing. Like I said, I'm just growing and uh, just getting more comfortable and uh, just more relaxed um, as the games have gone on uh, so far. So, yeah. From the outside, it seems wide receiver is wide receiver. Doesn't matter scheme, school, but what are the differences? Uh, I would just, the differences, um, really, I would just, I would just say like play wise is different, um, but like, I feel like my job as a receiver is the same. I still have the same rules and I still run routes. I still got to block perimeter, uh, on the perimeter. So I, I don't, other than like plays, I don't feel like there's, um, any, any big difference or anything like that. Experience um, in the past dealing with disappointing losses and bouncing back. Any you can think of off the top of your head? Oh, uh, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Just in the past, any Oklahoma State, any any experiences of, of bouncing back after disappointing losses? Uh, what do you? Oh yeah, um, you know, of course. Um, I'm gonna go back and look at what we did wrong, and going in and fix those things. But you also don't want to just keep looking at those things because you also have to move on to next week and focus on what you gotta. Um, do next week. So not just like, of course, we're going to look at what we did wrong and uh, adjust those things, but also, you know, keep that mindset that it's still a long season um, and we can still reach all of our goals that we had had at the beginning of the year. Challenges does Kansas present? You, you faced them in the past, obviously. Yeah, uh, yeah Kansas is a good team, um, especially in their second door, uh, secondary. You know, they got two all Big 12 corners. Um, so, yeah. Um, they're a good team all, uh, on both sides of the field. They got weapons. They got a good quarterback, good running back, um, some good receivers. So, um, yeah, you're not, you're not, we're not going into next week thinking that we have like a cakewalk or anything. Obviously, they're they're a good team, and um, they're going to come ready to play. They're kind of in the same situation that we are, uh, being one and two. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're expected for them to come into play, and you know, give us uh, their all. So, um, just ready, ready for that to come up next week. mentally approach the rest of the season now. I mean, do you forget about that? Uh, you know, the last the two games that you lost or, yeah, how, how do you handle it? Uh, you know, we just, I know they do a good job here. You know, we address, we address what's wrong. Um, and we sit here as a whole team and we go over what, what we did uh, good and what we did bad. And, and those bad things we go in and we fix those things head on. There's no really shying away from that. Um, like we just do a good job here, just attacking on what we need to work on, um, especially like last game. There's things that we need to work on, and then going into this week, we're adjusting those things head on. Like I had said, um, all coaches and all players are all locked in on on their 111 and, and doing what we need to do to get this team going and stuff like that. Is it better to go into a game after after a tough loss angry, or is it better to go in like it didn't happen and starting over? Um, I want to say not to go in and like it didn't happen. Of course, you want to you want to still like piggyback on that. Um, but of course, you don't want to be so focused on what happened last week that it takes away what, what you're focused on going into the to the week that's like in that moment right there. You could use it though. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. You could use it. How would you characterize the mood of the team? Is it disappointment? Is it anger? Is it frustration? How would you? Uh, I would say, like, I guess we, of course, are a little disappointed because we're not putting out our best football that we know we can put out there. Um, especially, uh, like, we, I feel like we won that whole game and we, we just didn't, we just didn't finish the game. Um, so yeah, um, I would just say we're, we're probably just a little disappointed because we know we're not putting out our best uh, capable football um, on that field in all phases. How would you compare the disappointment after the picking compared to the? Lost to Penn State. Um, comp um, I don't really know how I compare them. Like, I feel like the first game we kind of like probably just got swallowed up by like the emotions leading up to the game, especially like the type of game it was going into it first week. Um, I feel like we we might have just got our emotions to get a ahead of us, and then like comparing to this game, I just feel like 
we like I said, we played we played good all the way until uh, like the, the uh, like five minutes left. I just feel like they um, pit give credit to those guys. They just felt like they played more, uh, like they they wanted it more than us towards the end of the game. The South Alabama game last year, not the same, but that was right before Big Twelve play, right? Yeah, yes, sir. I think you lost to Iowa State. Uh, yeah, we lost. I, yeah, I think so. We lost to Iowa State at Iowa State. So, I mean, so you're you're kind of familiar with this, and you end up playing for the Big Twelve championship. It sounds like, again, not the same, but you've kind of been here before yeah. too. How do you? I mean, how does a team blinders on? I guess and not rem- not forget the not remember the past, forget it, and then just keep looking. Forward. Yeah, you know, we that just comes in of not. Looking at the outside noise and and realize that the only player and people that know what's going on in, like, on this football team are really the people that are here every day and out there practicing and out there working with uh, with the, with us and like so just keeping the outside noise out and just focusing on what we know what, what we're capable of because um, we know what we're capable of and what type of team we are and what we can put out there on Saturday so it's just um, at this point just going out there and really doing it and showing showing what we're capable of. Believe a team that you know, could lose to South Alabama and then go 0 and 1 the Big 12, they could actually get to Dallas and play for it. Um, I see. I would say no because uh, it all becomes like what type of team we were and what we thought we could have done and could achieve. Um, I think South, South Alabama team that year. I think they did. I think they won their conference that year. I think they won. So um, you gotta give credit to do those guys for coming in ready to play as well. But this point about South Alabama, you got better. The team got better from that point on through the rest of the season. Yeah. How does a team do that? What do you have to do as a team to get from where you are now to where you want to be? Uh, just really just more locking in and more sacrifices on and off the field, um, whether that's just coming in, watching more film, um, less time on the game, like just stuff like that. Uh, just being more locked in and just showing that if you if you really want to if we really want to get to where we want to be, then we just got to do the extra, and you know, Coach Brown's always saying, "Rare air requires rare effort." So, yeah, Neil has talked a couple times about your ability on special teams coverage and things like that. Did, did it take you a while to accept that? I mean, not even just here, but earlier in your football career, that special teams was important. Uh, yeah, at OSU, I barely really played any special teams. I, I was probably just on kickoff return, um, but I was I was probably like a three on the depth chart, so I didn't really play that much special teams. Um, I always knew special teams were important, uh, but really just being a part of them, uh, I just I just really wasn't a part of them until I had gotten here. And um, now th- now that I am here, it really did open my eyes, uh, especially just being at the positions that I am, because they're pretty important positions. And um, you know, special teams. Special teams could be the determinant of a win of, or a loss in a game. So, they are they're really important. Is it hard to be a, a bullet on a punt coverage team? Uh, yeah, sometimes it can be. It definitely it definitely pushes you to be uh to strain more and stuff like that. Um, but I think I'm just getting better at it every every week. Coaches, in that regard, coaches also talk at at the next level. People as wide receivers, unless you're the number one, you're going to be on special teams. Yep. Is that something they preach? Something you realize? Yeah, for sure. Uh, they're always talking about that. Um, they always talk. They always bring up uh, Bryce Ford uh, Wheaton. Um, they're always telling me about uh, about his position and what he's doing right now. And they're just always bringing up other uh, next level guys that are there right now that that were maybe the guy at, at, um, here at w- playing wide wide out. And then once they get to the league, they're more the guy on special teams. So they're always preaching about what special teams could do for you and uh, other people in the league. Playing time has gone up the past couple weeks. Can you repeat that Why do you again? think the playing time has gone up the past couple weeks? How my playing no, time? How has... do you think? Like, what have you done? What have you gotten better at? Um, I would say just really just once I'm like first week, I was for sure like pretty nervous out there. Uh, I just feel like I'm getting more comfortable every time, like with with snaps and stuff like that. Um, that's why I say I could really, that's the best thing I could say I've been getting better at is just really just relaxing out there and just playing football. How much does it help? This sounds absolutely like probably important that, that Garrett has seen you run a bunch of routes and games now and knows just more comfortable with you. It's not practice, it's different. Yeah, you know, it's really important because uh, um, with timing, you know, that's everything with the quarterback being on time with the QB. And uh, me and Garrett get together and we talk and um, I'm all for him. So whatever he wants me to do, 
and uh, what what time he wants me to be out of a break. It's all catered to him because if the QB and the uh, and I'm not on the same page, then that could throw off the whole play. Okay, anything else for Jaden? Thank you. Yep. All right, thank you very much.